Happy you could join us. We are with Greg Angert, beer director for the neighborhood restaurant group of Food and Wine Sommelier of the Year. The group includes The Sovereign in Georgetown, uh, been open for a few months now, and uh, something new, Eat Bar, the return of Eat Bar, uh, 8th Street and Barracks Row. Yeah, yeah. Great yep. neighborhood. Right near the Eastern Market, Metro. Okay. And you mentioned you got some food from Red Apron there. And oh, yeah, Nathan. beers on draft. So it's cool because, yeah, because we, we had a Tulula and Eat Bar over in Arlington, and we closed that down, sadly, but we always had plans to revive it. So Nathan Anda, our chef from the old days at Tulula and Red Apron now, uh, is the chef there. Amazing little neighborhood yeah. joint, small, cool. 40 seats, but of course it's neighborhood restaurant group, so we have 18 drafts. Um, and about 30 bottles of beer as well. So, and if you haven't been to that that block before, that's where Rose's Luxury Super is. Cool. You know, yep. the Bon Appetit number one new restaurant in the country. A year and now or so Pineapple now it, and Pearls, which oh, is getting huge oh, okay. stuff from. See, from now them. it's Restaurant of the Week. But, uh, <laughs> but back to Beer of the I know, Week. Right? Sorry about that. That's okay. I, I'm happy for the intel. What's on tap this week? This week we have. Um, a beer from one of my favorite breweries in the U.S. Uh, it is Jester King Brewing uh, out of uh, Texas Hill Country. So they're located just west of Austin. I actually, full disclosure, uh, held a portion of my bachelor party oh, at this brewery. Oh, wow. um, And they treated me and very well. And you remember well. it? I do. Okay. Oh, yeah. And there's a reason for that. Because um, <laughs> uh, we went during the day, but also because <laughs> these guys, and these are, these are really some of the best brewers um, and great people in craft. Uh, they brew a lot of all very bone dry kind of farmhouse ales that many of which are very low in alcohol. Okay. And so these are kind of beers that we like to drink as well and you could because you can drink them um, and in long sessions. And make it to 7 p.m. And make it there, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. And, uh, and and just and enjoy them for a day, you know, and, and, and be social around them. So this is called Le Petit Prince and it is the best example of the style because it is 2.9% alcohol. I probably should have waited until you taste it because you really, every time I pour this for people, they cannot believe it's this low in alcohol. Yeah, you shouldn't tell me. It's 9%. Great. Love it. It's so like, mmm. Little tart, a little funky on the nose. But all like, again, in everything's in order. Oh, wow. Crisp and refreshing. It's dry. It's got some nice hop character. Nothing too bitter. Lots of aromatics. And this is like truly farmhouse brewing. They, the, the yeast um, blend that they use to brew all of their beers now is one that's a, a really cool amalgam of farmhouse yeast that you know they procured from other breweries, but then native Texas yeast that they literally cultured from the, um, the air around the brewery. Same with some lactobacillus to give it a little bit of tartness. Um, and they end up with a beer that has its own house character. Right. And when you taste all their beers side by side, they're all very um, different and nuanced, but they all share this yeast character um, that is, you know, Jester King every time. Wow. It's very cool. Really, that, that is really fun and tasty. Uh, I've been to Sweden once, and you can get beer in Sweden that's 2%. Uh, they don't mess around with the DUI laws in Sweden, right? Yeah. Uh, and so if you want to have also a couple with the, beers, I then, think it's the uh, taxes too. I yeah, think it's yeah. much, it's much. <laughs> they've kind of been like they forced their hand up. These guys are brewing 2.9 percent because yeah, they just like we want to, we want full flavored beer that's not going to knock your socks right, off. You know, yeah, it's amazing, well, and it doesn't have to. No, it doesn't have to at all. What would you pair it with? This is, I mean, to me, well, you could do a lot of things with this. Um, you know, I, I, t again, full disclosure, I tend to stock a lot of this at my house, so. Um, I eat it, I drink it with a lot of things. And in fact, I really love Indian like takeout, and this is fantastic with that. Oh, okay. not, yeah. not super hot or super rich, but like, you know, something just simple like uh, chicken makhni or tandoor chicken, uh, sag paneer, a little spinach. It's great to kind of go with, but also, you know, if it grows together, it goes together, you can drink this with barbecue all day long. Ooh, I can see that. You know, and do this, at, you know, maybe, maybe overlook the Lone Star Lager or whatever it is and like and head for this instead a uh, little bit uh, a lot more character I think and, and just fantastic very cool uh, all right out goes the wings of Armageddon from my fridge and <laughs> goes <laughs> even though I love a safer love wings yes safer is exactly Greg thank you as always thank you everyone please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week